welcome back to my channel this video I am going to be talking about how to buy hair online <laughs> Some of y'all are probably like, Girl, what do you mean how to buy hair online? Go to the website, put in your car information, and buy hair. Technically, that's how you buy hair online, but if you wanna buy good hair online, you wanna buy good, affordable hair, cheap hair online, you gotta do a little bit more than that. If you really wanna know the secret, the key to getting really good hair online, Keep watching this video and I'm gonna show you how because I guarantee some of y'all been doing it wrong. My first tip about figuring out how to properly buy hair online, figure out what you want. <laughs> and I know that sounds kinda mm, mean, but I mean, do you want straight hair? Do you want curly hair? Do you want a body wave? Do you want Brazilian kinky curly? Do you want a uh, a Peruvian puff pepper. I don't know. Like, what hair do you want? Do that research first. Look at pictures, look at videos, figure out what you want first before you try and search for hair. Because a lot of y'all search like this best AliExpress hair, best cheap hair, best places to buy hair. No! You cannot do that. And let me tell you why. Not all hair vendors are created equally. Meaning not all hair vendors textures are created equally. Let me explain. I would search per texture and look at hair reviews based on texture. Don't look at somebody's hair review where they're like, oh yeah, this is a good vendor. Mm, good vendor for what kind of hair did you get, sis? Good vendor for straight hair. Good vendor for body wave. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need a good curly vendor. I need a good body wave vendor. And then search from there. Cause you'll wind up finding better results. And my second tip is, okay, so say you decided you want curly hair. This is just me personally. This is just from my personal experience. I can't search for quality hair from someone who does a review when they wear the hair as a wig. Let me tell you why. Unless you wear wigs, unless you intend on wearing the hair as a wig and making it to a wig, then you're fine. But for us girls who, like, this is a sewing. Like, I, I still do the old school sewings. Sorry. All right. I can't watch somebody who do wigs because nine times out of ten, they don't sleep on the hair. They're like, oh, yeah, this hair is great. I bet it was. You took it off every night. Like, I need someone who eats, sleep, breathe, shower, go to work, come home, sweat in their hair. I need someone who's in this hair 24-7. Tell me your opinion. Everybody knows when you sleep on hair, it affects the longevity of the hair. Um, another thing I would say is, here's a great debate. Um, people are like, oh, Deanna, should you watch videos of people who are sent the hair for review and I say you need to look at people who are sent the hair for review and I, you need to look at people who were who bought the hair themselves so obviously you need to look at people who bought the hair themselves because they're going to give you a more nitty gritty review of really what's good my whole thing is you can still look at people who were sent the hair for review for discount codes. Girl, if you don't quit hating on the people who are sent this hair for review, go click their description box and get you a discount code and get you some money off the hair anyway. Like, what I would do is just watch some reviews of people who bought it themselves and then find a review of somebody who um, was sent the hair and then get their discount code and then you get the hair cheaper. We all win. How about that? Another thing is I wouldn't just stop at like YouTube. Which I'm sure a lot of you do this anyway, but like if I see somebody on YouTube, I go to their Instagram. I get real stalkerish. Like, girl, I'm stalking you. I need to see your pictures in this hair. I want to see your Snapchat story. I want to see how this hair is looking in your Snapchat story at 2 o'clock in the morning when you up in the club sweating. How does that hair look? You know, I need to know that. And then so my last tip number three is to shop around. Um, and don't wait till the last minute. 
look no but seriously like if you shop around there are hundreds and thousands and hundreds of thousands of hair vendors out there again going back to the example say you want curly hair right and you search best curly hair vendors right it's gonna be a lot of them guys really just do your research and really like go through each one combine your data after doing your research and make a critical analysis on which hair that you are going to purchase some of y'all are like bro it's not that serious it's just hair but honestly honestly I'm with you I'm with you it's not that serious and eh, I wear hair like once or twice and then I'm in something new right but there are some people out there though where hair is really an investment and they don't buy hair that often so like for you guys who don't buy bundles that often like you really you know gotta do your research don't go off the opinion of one person and then get mad when you're sent crappy hair that you don't like and I'm like well did you really research did you did you I don't think so and at the end of the day buying hair period is just going to be a risk that you take because uh because you can't see it you can't touch it you can't hold it you know it's 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 a risk all in itself now there are some cases or some of y'all did y'all research and you feel like you you know received crappy hair and uh, I'm sorry <laughs> sorry that happened to you can't relate but no I'm just kidding <laughs> I just I just want to help some people out there for people who've never bought hair before or you know people who just don't know too much about bundles this is for you guys I hope you all thought these tips or found these tips helpful in any way if you have any more tips or any more advice that you want to share with everybody who's buying hair online and that's struggling and just want to find somebody good leave comments down in the description not in the description box leave a comment down below under the video and if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you're new to this channel hit subscribe and I'm sorry if I yelled the entire video I feel like I'm yelling I don't know I just I have a lot of energy right now excuse me alright you guys adios Till next time. I've been in the dugout, looking for a way out. You know, just taking it slow.